Hi, thanks for checking out Next Matter. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can set up and launch your first basic automated process in just a few minutes. Let's dive in. To create your first process, click on the plus button next to the process toggle menu. Click create a new process. Give your process a name. Let's do a common process like master data change and then click create process. Next, you'll land in the process editor. Click add step to add a first step to your process. You can choose between different step types and you'll provide a name for the step itself. Here, you'll also choose which team or individual will work on the step. In this case, will be customer support. It's now time to add the first action to your step. There are multiple action types to choose from. This example uses a simple input action. You can configure the action by clicking on the gear icon. Add things like placeholders, instructions, whether things should be required or optional, whatever your teams need to get the step accomplished, that's what you'll add here. Typically, a step consists of many actions, for example, address inputs, data inputs, or file uploads. For our master data change process, we choose an address input to submit the new, ad new address. And save. We also choose a file upload to add a proof of address. All this information can be accessed in later steps of the process by your customer support agents. Now let's put this into action. You add a new action step to execute the master data change. This will be assigned to the data specialist team. And we select them. This time you add an instruction action to the step. The instruction will help the specialist to execute the data change correctly. In it, we'll provide the exact links to be used. Choose link. We type in the link. Paste the URL and save. We'll add another action here for the data specialist to upload a screenshot of the change as supporting documentation. Again, all of this information can be referenced at a later stage for quality audits, customer complaint, whatever you need to look up. Now we'll add one final step so that the customer support team can notify the customer of the data change. Confirm change to customer, assign to customer support, and your process is ready to go. This has been a simple example of a basic process, but we've only scratched the surface of the functionality. To learn more, check out all of our tutorials or request a one-on-one -on -one demo of Next Matter visit us at nextmatter.com.